Hi YouTube. This is gonna be my baby products ugh, heavy baby products review and comparison video. So here I have a whole basket full of things that I'm going to review on and compare. This video might end up being um, a couple parts long, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't think I have enough of each thing to make a separate video about each, so I'll just do the whole thing and then I'll just split it up into parts if it's too long. Okay, so I guess I'll start from the top. The first thing I'm going to talk about is pumps. This is the Even Flow Simply Go EPA Free Pump. It is um, a handheld electric pump. It, in here you can put batteries and you can also plug it in. It's good for on the go. Um, this pump would be okay if you are breastfeeding and you just need a pump for like to pump every so often. This is not a good pump if you are exclusively pumping. It's slow, the batteries die quickly, um, sometimes it loses suction and it's got this piece here that comes out. It doesn't attach to anything and it just goes in here. I don't know why it's there but without it, it doesn't work very good and it's very easy to lose it and I'm not sure but I don't know where to buy the extra parts for it if you even can and it's hard to buy together so this is this um, it's okay if you're not exclusively pumping if you are I recommend the Medela pump and style or any well the Manila Pumpa style and Manila Freestyle are probably the best options if you are exclusively pumping. This is what I use. It is in this little bag thing. It's this big, but it comes with like a bigger tote bag, I guess. Um, you hook up the tubing right here for the suction. And if you're not using both, if you're only using one, you can take this and just put it over the one that you're not using. I use both though because I'm exclusively pumping. Um, it's got the controls right here for the suction and the let down button right right there. See? So the way this works, it has two phase expression. Two yeah, two phase expression. It starts off like suck, 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 suck. And then after two minutes, I think, it like makes like longer suck. So it's like longer amounts of suction I guess kinda like a baby when they first start out and they like suck 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 and then they go gulp 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 kinda thing um, that's basically what this does they say it's better I guess I don't know it works pretty good though but if you get let down before the suck 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 stops you press this button and it automatically switches to the longer expression um, so yeah I really like the Medela pump and style. It works good. Callie's over there sleeping. She's half awake now. Um, okay, so that is my pumping review. So basically, pump and style over this handheld bulky thing. Alright, next I'm going to do a bottle. I have four different kinds of bottles and I'm also going to show you the pump bottles. These are the bottles that come with the pump, my pump. They're Medela. I store the milk in these usually in the refrigerator unless I'm freezing them. If I'm going to freeze it, I'll put it in the land snow bags, but I don't really make enough that I have extra to freeze. So I have that. I think the video's off a little from the sound. I don't know. Um, sorry if it is. So, my bottles that I use, I have the Playtex Drop-Ins, the Playtex Vent Air Advanced System, yeah, Playtex Vent Air Advanced, Even Flow, the glass bottles, and sorry, this one's dirty, she just drank it a bit like five minutes ago. The Nook, 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 I, I don't know, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to say Nook because I like that word better. So the Nook bottles, too. Okay, the Playtex drop-ins. They are, this is the 4-ounce bottle. 
or three ounce. I don't know. It always goes up to three ounces on the side. And it goes up to 100 milliliters, which is how I feed her. I feed her by milliliters because I'm in Canada. I guess she usually eats about 100. But sometimes I will use the ounces if she's had gone a long time between feedings. And I'll give her four ounces. But normally she gets 100 milliliters at a time, which is right there. And. Oh, baby. Anyway, um, if I'm using these, I only use these. The drop-ins if I'm using breast milk because I will just fill up the liner. I will just fill the liner with breast milk because the bag's only four ounces so she's never going to get more than that in it but I only use these for breast milk because the formula where you have to measure it I don't want like the measurements to be wrong on it so that's the only time that I use the drop-ins is for the breast milk but I like these better because they heat up really quickly and I'm not going to take these out, but these are the liners. They have preform liners too. They're like, you can get them for like 50 in a box, and they cost the same as these ones that are 100 in a box. So I just, I like these ones better. And they come on a roll like this. And you can pull them out of the box, and you can close the box on it so it's easier to get them out, but. They come on a roll like this, and you just tear it off, and you open it up, like this, you open the drop-ins bottle, and you put it in the bottle, and then you just fold it over the sides like this, and pull it down. And it's got this green line on the side right here, and I just usually pull that down to the bottom of the threads on the bottle I guess and then it's kind of like crumpled up inside a little bit but once you start pouring milk in it kind of straightens out a little bit um, you're supposed to fill it halfway and then tap it on the cover and then fill it the rest of the way and you put the cover on it's ready to go I like this because when she drinks it it um, anyway it squishes up and you're supposed to tear these off too before feeding. I don't, but if I use these once she starts like holding her bottle by herself and stuff like that, then I will tear them off. But right now, I just, it saves time not to, so I just don't right now. Um, so, these are good. You can't microwave these though. Like, I don't microwave the bottles anyway because you're not really supposed to. It can cause hot spots in the bottle, if you didn't already know that. Um, but the liners can explode, and I've had a liner get a hole in it because I had the water was too hot. Um, we were at a restaurant and they gave me like boiling hot water and the liner melted or exploded or I don't know what happened but anyway the liner failed. So that wasn't good. So it says do not microwave or boil. Liner may burst. These are good. Also um this part the um I don't know what they call it the bottle holder I guess the liner holder it's Nothing touches this except the liner that the baby would drink. And it says on the instructions, do not microwave or boil this to sterilize. So basically, you don't sterilize this, I guess. I don't know. I don't, anyway. Nothing that the baby drinks or that the milk touches, touches this line, this holder. So really, you have the cover, this cover, the nipple and the ring that you have to sterilize and the bags are pre-sterilized so I really like this one because of that because it's a lot less dishes to do well a lot less sterilizing when I'm doing the dishes okay and the next one is the Playtex Vent Air this is a good bottle too I really like this it's got the numbers on the side and this is the six ounce bottle and it's 200 milliliters they have bigger ones too I think they're like 10 and 12 ounces I think um, this is a good bottle. This one's a lot more dishes. The bottom comes off, and it has this little thingy here. And you can't really... Oh, you can. Um, it has holes in the bottom right here. And that's how the bottle gets air is through the holes. Like most bottles will get the air through the nipple. And but this one gets the air through the bottom. That's really the only big thing about this bottle. The thing I don't like about these bottles, though, 
is they are really hard to heat up. Like, I can put them in hot water forever and they barely get hot. Like, there's probably no way to overheat these bottles because this plastic is so thick. Um, I got these in a set. There was three... Three of the big ones and two of the, these small ones. And I think it was about $25 for the set. Oh, yeah. And these, I got these in a set, too. There's three big and two small, and they were $25 for the set. Or no, these are 15 for the set. These are 25 so These are a little more expensive. They're newer. But I also got these. Um, I found the crystal clear ones. They're just like the whole thing's clear. Like where this is yellow, it's just clear. And this plastic is being cloudy colored. It's just really clear. I found it at Baby's R Us in a pack of two for five dollars. I don't know why. I don't know if it's it probably a mistake. But anyway, I bought a couple, so because it was a really good deal, and these were really expensive. And if I would have known, like I had went and bought a whole package of these like two days before that or something like that for twenty five dollars at Walmart. If I would have known that they had them that cheap at Baby's R Us, I would have went and bought some. Just those ones. Just had crystal clear ones because I don't care that the colors. That doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so the next one is the Evenflow glass bottle. Glass bottles are good. They're um, completely BPA free. No chemicals in glass usually, I guess. Um, it's kind of an ugly bottle. It's not very cute, but that doesn't matter. She can still drink out of it. Um, it's got the regular nipple, the regular ring. These are good because they're just standard. Like the standard nipple, standal, standard ring everything and this one here obviously the air goes in through the nipple and I'm not really sure how I just don't really like these bottles as much they heat up pretty good because the glass heats up and it heats the water but they're heavy and it's hard like she's just learning how to hold up her bottle now so like her little hands can't hold this heavy bottle 